We are in Grass Lake. On to the next adventure. I'm gonna go to the train museum. Out in Grass Lake. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Oh my goodness! More to come. In today's video, we're going to check out the trolleys and the trains from Ingress Lake and how they were made and uh, what it took to restore them and everything else. So why don't you join me? Thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll talk with you soon. Alright, let's go check this out. This is really, really cool. Little grass shack. Missy's little grass shack. Smoking hot burgers and cold be coldest beer in town. Ooh. <laughs> now, if anybody remembers, I was here back in uh, two or three years ago. When I uh, came here, when I was doing an Amazon right. Flex video, I was doing an Amazon Flex uh, job, and I ended up stumbling on this little place. And I've always wanted to come back since then, and I finally get to. Amazon Flex job out here, and that's how I saw this place. And I'm like, cool. This looks really cool. Look at. No emission charge. We suggest a five dollar donation. No problem. I will do that for us. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Good. Did I go in the wrong did we go in the wrong door? Sorry. You probably did. Do you just hear it for the museum or for the party? No, for okay. the museum. Oh, what kind of party? <laughs> <laughs> You got food? Oh, you got food? yeah. We'll tacos eventually. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sounds good, man. Oh, look at Lassie. Oh, look. He's so That's friendly. Pal. Pal oh, is friendly Pal. with everybody. Oh, my goodness. He's just beautiful. He's so precious. You're so precious. So, is this your first time here? Yes. This is it is. Dot donation? I do have more well, right there in that little box behind you. Okay. The little glass box there. Uh, I was going to do it. You was. Yeah. But I don't got to change for 20. I'm just going to put a 10 in there. Okay. Um, I do have a video presentation that runs about 10 minutes long. Kind of tells you how this place developed. If you'd like to watch. Would you like to watch that? Too? Otherwise, sure. you can just wander around as you like. We like to wander. We like to wander. Yes. Well, okay. Take a chair right there. I'll crank it up for you. Okay. All right. Hey, editing Tina here. <laughs> this turns out to be something that me and Tony are not expecting. You know how you're always so used to steam locomotives? Well, it turned into a challenge when me and Tony was going through this museum. We started looking at stuff and we're like, hmm, hmm, I don't 
don't see this or that or is this really that or so yeah so come along with us and learn with us are these trains and trolleys steam or are they electric and electric you know is we're visiting our history as our future is turning right back into this and is it really gonna work or you know hey so yeah take a take a wild ride with us <laughs> with the on the lost railroad in the lot in grass lake michigan at the museum and you should really go check it out yourself too all right let's go Seat by the window or on the bench, however you like. All right. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I am fantastic. How are you? Welcome to the maiden voyage of the Bowling Express. <laughs> this is the first train in Michigan United Railway, an interurban line from Jackson to Grass Lake. This is a virtual reality simulation of the first ride from Jackson to Grass Lake. The day that this small town's newspaper and is the first the part of the scenery is largely woods and open fields. City on a hill. That's large because that's all there was in 1901. Grass Lake. That's basically all there is now. The weather was fair. Yeah, that's true. But it does make a trip from Jackson through Michigan Center and then out to Grass Lake. It's got a couple of unique stops in between. And this I was trying to fill you in on what some of these are. Including the mayor, county now the first run attorneys, was two of these cars hooked together. And, and so many people wanted to take the ride. All are excited to be able to board the two cars provided by Mr. Bolin, the owner of this rail system. When all are settled in, train superintendent J.B. Foote boards the train and with a professional air sits down and turns the key. With the key in one hand and the brake in the other, we are off. We now roll down Main Street towards Page Avenue. Can you feel it rocking a little we bit? We do. This yeah. is cool. <laughs> we just added that for atmosphere. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> it was founded as a village a mere 75 years ago. It's 1901, and Jackson is the third largest city in Michigan with 7,000 railroad employees alone living in the city. From a village to an important city, Jackson's expansion is awe-inspiring. There are now nine different railroads serving Jackson. It is an industrial powerhouse that ships goods across the nation. Built in 1873, this railroad station, 120 years from now, will be the longest continuously operating rail station in the United States. Mm -hmm. All the little pictures and the cool thing that they put together to show you how they restored this little train. Mm -hmm. The car was moved in DPW garage in Grass Lake so it could be examined, evaluated, and restoration could be started. So, yeah, that's really neat. We, we just went on a little, um, you know. Like the little video tour thingy that moves and stuff. So it's cool. Ooh. 1922, the curve bricks failed. Wow. Ella Sharp Museum. That's another museum I want to go to. Take a look around here and show you some cool stuff. Alright. Some of the lanterns they use. That's oh, really neat. This is train number 29. Look at the fare boxes. You put your money in there to maybe get a ticket. 
and different ones that they would use. The tickets, the cash fares. It's pretty cool. Say that again. <laughs> so you think these trains were electric? Pretty sure. Everybody knows the locomotion was steam. Yeah. But that presentation said that well, maybe it had some electrical these and... Using, these, these trains, these passenger trains, was just using electric. Hmm, maybe. Let's go down and, let's go down and see. Okay. It doesn't. I don't think it says. But it did say that it goes from Chicago, and it was it was used for World War II in the, in the time of that. And they were outfitted with a kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom. Mm. Mm -hmm. bedrooms. Eventually, another residence was built and like kind of resided. It was from the St. Louis Car Company. And it was a streetcar. It was a streetcar, so it had to have some kind of electrical to it. So yeah, we're gonna figure this out. Yeah. This motor is um, it's on loan from the Henry Ford. I don't see an exhaust. I don't see an intake. Right. Might be this might be electric. It says, look, look, come here, come here, come here. This 5,000 volt motor, volt, volt, voltage, volt, means voltage. And it was built as one of four prototypes by Westinghouse and has lived in the storage shed at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn for more than 100 years and was brought on loan to the Lost Railroad Museum in September of 2022. So yeah, it was voltage. So you're right. So yeah. So this was the volt motor. Mm-hmm. Volt motor and for the train. Between, sat between the, uh, the big rails. Mm-hmm. Railways. Okay, so we're thinking that 29 is also an electric car. The motor is gone. Just the motor's gone. But the dead big thing is set right. But don't believe me, I would always ask somebody. <laughs> I think we're pretty darn close. I think we're pretty darn close. Figured it out. <laughs> I think we figured it out, man. <sighs> So yeah, this is the grocery store, and you get your mail, and you load the train. Waiting for the electric train. See, we figured, yes, yes, see, 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 we found it. 1913, waiting for the electric train ride. Historical research, design and clothing representation and staging. For San Rangers Courts. So let's say it was electric. The cargo train. The cargo train for steam. Locomotion. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere now. Wow. And this shows you on the map Jackson. where where they um, rode. Look at. You are here. Okay. So from. Right here has number six, Jackson. and it has all the different seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way. But then it goes, yeah. So it goes from Francisco all the way to Jackson. 1911 map showing the city of Jackson to the, vi the village of Francisco. That's pretty cool, huh? 
1911 road map. Road map. figuring it out. We're figuring it out. We're learning. We're learning. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed solving the mystery with us. Are they steam or are they electric? Okay, so this was part one. Get ready for part two because there's way more to come.